as we delve into the issues of Kenya-China trade, we are joined by the chairman of the Kenya-China Alliance, Mr. Rotich. Thank you for joining us, Rotich, in the studio. Welcome. Well, we're very happy to have you. We're hearing that there's the expo that is slotted for next week that's coming up. Would you kindly give us an overview of what we're expecting for Kenya? Um, thank you very much. Uh, uh, as uh, you've mentioned very well, my name is Dr. Henry Rotich, the chairman of uh, Kenya-China Alumni Association, uh, where we bring uh, students uh, who benefited from scholarship in China. And some of them have returned back to Kenya to work and some are working in other countries. Now, the upcoming uh, Expo is an opportunity for Kenyan uh, business community to go and meet uh, potential partners who can trade with. Uh, we are looking at people um, who can be, be able to buy products from Kenya, the exports. We can also look at opportunities to meet with uh, potential partners who can come and invest in Kenya. So uh, it's an opportunity to really meet an array of uh, investors and also g uh, link up with investment opportunities for Kenyan uh, to expand their trade with China. Well, we're asking, um, what are the, how many companies have registered and what are the numbers are we expecting next week? Well, uh, there are quite a number, uh, I mean, of companies uh, who have registered. Uh, uh, like last year, we had over 200 companies which were there, and I think the numbers is going up uh, as well in this year. Well, ch trade between China and Kenya is definitely favoring China. What are some of the measures that can be put to equalize the trading rift between us? Yeah, I think uh, all of us, we've seen how the government has been engaging with China, specifically to create opportunities for improvement of exports. Um, we have, uh, for example, the avocado, where the government has signed some, um, um, some deals where we can be able to export. We have the flowers, and uh, our flowers are now being exported to, to, to Changsha through, uh, our, through Kenya. Uh, and so there are a lot of efforts to really produce for export to China. And I think um, going forward, we are going to see more products which are going to China from Kenya. In detail, kindly, yeah. would you explain the efforts which have been put in place to boost exports to China? And would you delve into what products are we talking about that can help boost exports to China in detail, please? Well, uh, one of the things that has been done is the issue of, um, uh, I think, the, the trade uh, agreement which was signed uh, by the Minister for uh, Industry and Agriculture, where we are having now uh, an opportunity to export av avocado to China. Uh, we also have the flowers which are being exported to China and also the, when you look at in the blue economy, uh, there's a, a number of companies which are now uh, producing fish which is exported to China. Um, I think we are also seeing a number of Chinese investors who are coming to Kenya to invest, uh, produce for export to China. So there are a lot of opportunities uh, where the government is really encouraging export to China. Um, I know uh, we talk about uh, the purple tea uh, which uh, we are exploring ways of getting them exported to China. What are some of the diplomacy issues that are affecting business relations between China and Kenya? Would you kindly comment on some of the issues in diplomacy that are affecting trade? Well, when it comes to diplomacy, I might not be the, uh, the, uh, well, uh, the competent authority to talk about that, but maybe from a perspective of a, of a Kenyan, I would say that uh, uh, some of the things might, e might be issues to do with um, um, uh, where we have uh, quality expectations uh, that, uh, and, and then also the requirements of the Chinese market which might not be specifically uh, um, the same with what we have here in Kenya. So it's all about trying to align those ones so that we can be able to export to China. There is a general attitude that products from the Asian markets yeah. are not um, up to standard yeah. in terms of global standards, they are counterfeit or they're not uh, good products to be imported to Kenya. It's a general view, again, I say. What yeah. do you think can be done to create standards when it comes to importation of particular products from the Asian countries? Uh, I, I think products from China uh, or Asian countries generally, um, if you go to the uh, EU, for example, or the US, you'll find that uh, the products which are being sold there, they are manufactured in, in Asia. 
meaning that they can actually produce products from there. So I think what we need to do as developing countries is to, to strengthen surveillance and also ensure that the products that are being clear to leave uh, those, those uh, production centers to, for Africa meets the requirement. They can produce products which meet global standards. So it's a question of ensuring there's uh, vigilance, surveillance, and also inspection to make sure that those products are not being exported to Kenya. And uh, Kenya or even uh, African countries. And once uh, they are there, we also need to increase the surveillance in the markets to make sure that they are not um, available in the markets. The China service sector is expected to grow tremendously. What are some of the opportunities that you could tell Kenyans that they could capitalize on when it comes to trade China, trade between Kenya and China, sorry? Uh, I think uh, when you look at, especially on the IT, uh, last year um, we had um, the chairman of uh, Alibaba who was here looking on how we can uh, leverage on the, on the the network to be able to, to market some of our products. So I think uh, we have uh, a lot of opportunities, especially on the use of the, um, the, the IT, the ePay, and um, some of those products which can be able to access market, whereby traditionally, uh, you, when you go to China, for example, you will see a lot of Chinese nowadays are using their phones to shop. So they should be shopping. And so we need to create those opportunities whereby when they're shopping, they are looking at products from Kenya. So we need to encourage our, our business community. We need to encourage our manufacturers to look at China and produce products which uh, um, attract the, that market. Bonnery Teach, we yeah. are running out of time. Would you kindly tell us what has your organization done to facilitate trade between Kenya and China? Um, as an alumni, um, as I said before, these are a group of uh, Kenyans who went to China to study. Uh, we have people who went to China as early as 1980, uh, the first students under the Kenya-China uh, scholarship programs. And when they came back to Kenya, some are working in various sectors, and um, they have the language, they are very good in language, and so one of the things that we are doing as an alumni is to sensitize uh, um, Kenyan uh, business community. We have some of our members working in some companies as translators, and so they help the companies to realize the Chinese market, also to understand the Chinese market. And we are working with also Chinese companies here so that they can also understand the Kenyan market and also um, increase that uh, uh, understanding. Because you cannot go into a market which you don't understand. It is by understanding that market that we can now start developing products which are destined for such a market. Well, would you kindly give us a few remarks, your final remarks for the viewers? Well, uh, one of the remarks I would like to give the viewers is this. Um, we have interacted with China for a long time, and China is a big market. Uh, we need to focus on looking at how we can produce products. We can target this market. The consumption, um, 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 disposable income for China is quite uh, high nowadays. So we need to focus on developing products which can be consumed in this market. Uh, I would be very happy if every container that comes to Kenya goes back with products which are being exported to China. Uh, this way, we can also be able to increase our uh, export and also uh, increase uh, the income that is coming from uh, the products that are being exported to China. Thank you very much, Bonnery Teach, for joining us in studio and interacting with us shortly on Kenya-China trade. Thank you so much.